like the eagle watching the direction of the wind and then it spreads its wings that's what we call soaring it does not fly the eagle soars i have searched and searched all the earth searched and searched all the earth and found the I have searched and searched all the earth, searched and searched all the earth and found that until you get to a point in your life, ladies and gentlemen, where God means everything to you, your love and your passion for Jesus, your love and your passion for the things of the Spirit has consumed you and is above every other desire, then you are not ready for the relationship that opens doors. There are men who will stand in an empty space, but because of their love for God, he will carry a door wherever it is, bring it in front of them and open it. That is how far he can go. He said, I have loved you with an everlasting love and I have drawn you with my loving kindness. It's time to return back to your love life. Thank God that this is a period that is celebrated world over. It's a, it's a period of love. Your first love is not your husband. It's not your wife. It's not your children. It was because of him that they all arrived. Don't let their presence drive him. Are we together now? Jesus, the lover of our soul. This is how we started. Blind, sincere, honest pursuit for him. Lord, if you never bless me, you still have my all. If you never lift me, you still have my all. Not Lord, I'm giving you two weeks. If you don't move, don't blame me. All those kinds of things. No. I love you sincerely it is not about preaching it is not about all of that no the song we sing they all belong to you and even the air I bring your hands on your head in one minute and repent from every kind of idolatry lord i don't know what has taken your place in my life the pursuit for things the pursuit for fame the pursuit for money the pursuit for positions cry to the lord this night oh i return i return oh lover of my soul oh lover of my destiny i return church stole my heart from you marriage stole my heart from you a job stole my heart from you fame stole my heart from you naira and cobble and dollars and pounds stole my heart from you but i return someone cry i return i return in the name of jesus i return you are praying one more minute take all of me all of me lord you have my everything take all of me all of me you have my everything all of me lord you have Use my everything. 
your mouth and pray father i love you more than ministry i love you more than prophecy i love you more than marriage i love you more than children i love you more than a job i love you more than business excellence i love you more than financial prosperity someone pray someone pray no destruction man of god it's time for your love for ministry to go behind the cross and never replace your love for jesus it's time for your love for fame and power even though carrying the semblance of spirituality to go behind the cross and to see jesus alone lifted as an expression of your love it's good to excel it's time for your love and your desire for material things to move behind in the queue that nothing and no one should sustain the ability to take his place in your life Oh, if I perish, let me perish loving you. If I go forward, let me go forward loving you. If I mark time, let me mark time loving you. If I rise, let me rise loving you. Everything I will ever get that will demand my not loving you, may it never come. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Now listen carefully. When Jesus started with the disciples who would later be apostles of the Lamb, He called them and they became His disciples. But as that intimacy grew, many things started happening to them one day jesus said i no longer call you brethren but friends is that in your bible he was she was telling them something that you have scaled a height you have demonstrated your love you have survived a lot do you know what it means for god to give you a title called the friend of god who in the bible had that name and what followed the destiny that had that name Abraham was called more than a prayer warrior, more than a fasting giant. It is a noble title for God to call you his friend. Because in friendship, there are no secrets. There is the opening of secrets. God can beckon on you. Shall I hide this from my friend Abraham? I can hide this from my creation, but not my friend. Abraham, this is what I want to do let me give you a chance as a friend and abraham came not just as god's creation but as a friend and say hold on since you have called me your friend allow me to negotiate i have an interest in sodom and gomorrah someone who was my friend before but allowed the quest for material things to drive him away because of that friendship remember the guy in the room did not call him friend but the one outside still said for as long as there is one person still carrying that point of connection he said let me advocate for lot perhaps if there are 50 people perhaps if there are 40 people that was a negotiation that was at the table of friendship i am a friend of god I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. He calls me friend. I didn't call him all. I am a friend of God. How can I dare call him friend? The creator of the ends of the earth. But I am a friend of God. He calls me friend. So do not be surprised when you see the benefits of friendship following certain people do not the bible said there is a friend that sticketh closer hmm. 
shall I hide this I don't know who God is speaking to but there are people here tonight God is saying there is a deeper level of friendship come come this nominal Christianity this surface thing here and there dealing with God like an idol like a stranger as if it's a stone carved somewhere we serve God as if we are practicing idolatry there is a functional relationship with proof come 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 there is a river for you come God is pushing someone come there is a deeper dimension more than just church more than just nominal Christianity is a deeper dimension like Ezekiel 47 oh there is a river God is calling a man of God hold on about ministry and come deeper you will be more effective when you become my friend Lion of Judah, the Lamb upon the throne, I hail you, Moses High, Shema Sema Nadia, the Lion of Judah, the Lamb upon the throne, I hail you, Moses High. Because a friend always answers. When I call you, you will answer me. Whenever I call you, you will answer me. Hear me. There are some of you after this service, you may need to rush and go for a retreat. God is speaking to you. The destiny you are seeing. And the level of relationship you are giving God you can't arrive there that is not how a prophetic mantle will land on you that is not how an apostolic call will come it's not by buying suits and sharing cards no there are there are rivers ladies and gentlemen you have to dive deep into the river Job said there is a there is a path that no fowl has seen the webs of the lion has not gotten there very deep dimensions of intimacy with God that is where power resides in the spirit that is where rest resides in the spirit I 
I believe in the lion. I believe in the lamb. I believe in the lion. You're not wasting your time. Just one more minute. Declare your desperation. Take me to the place. The place you are. The secret place. That's where I want to be You are my sheep You are my covering You are my stability And my foundation Take me to the place The place you are the secret place That's where I want to be That's where I want to be Take me to the place Take me to the place you are The place you are The secret place That's where I want to be That's where I want to be You're not wasting your time Many of you are wondering what we are doing. This is how intimacy is developed in the spirit. Press for one more minute. Yeshua Hamashiach Komina Nakane Yeshua Hamashiach Komina Nakane Yeshua, Hamashiach, Komina Nakade. Yeshua, Hamashiach, Komina Nakade. Komina Nakade. Komina Nakade. Listen, there is a realm in the spirit where you would have surrendered everything because you love him. When your hands are empty, not holding anything, then he can hold your hands and you will find out that you have everything. Ladies and gentlemen, please hear me. Our mundane pursuit of things is eroding our passion for God gradually. Especially this generation, with all due respect, it is amazing how incredibly distracted we are in pursuit of many things. I have learned from scripture, I have learned from mentorship, from wisdom and by experience that anything that claims to give you what only God can give you, just know that you are dealing with fraudulence there. Any situation, anyone who tells you he can give you what only God can give. There are things only God can give. He said, with God, all things. No amount of publicity will bring increase to your ministry above and beyond the presence and your relationship with God. No amount of intellectual soundness will replace the impact of the word that comes at the instance of relationship. May God grant us grace to return in the mighty name of Jesus Christ.